welcome back guys. Today is gut check time. So about a year ago I ran my very first full marathon and uh, of course everything I read says it's going to be hard and uh, you're going to want to quit and the average person uh, thinks about quitting two times during a marathon. And in case you don't know, marathon's 26.2 miles. Most people don't like to drive 26.2 miles. I started training uh, about a year out for my marathon. I actually ran it in Tennessee and Nashville. And uh, not once during the, the marathon did I actually think about quitting. And uh, I want to talk about what happens when you're tired. What happens when you think that you're at the end of your rope. And I'm running during that marathon, and it's right around mile 17. Mile 17 is, you know, of course, past the half marathon phase, which is 13.1. And, uh, but it's not far enough in where you're really close to finishing. Is that three quarters of the way, two quarters of the way, and you're really starting to wear on your body and your mind. And of course, I was slowing down significantly, and of course, my body uh, was dehydrated. I had some issues the day before. And I'm running, and I didn't think about quitting, but I, I thought about why I was even doing it. This isn't an important. I don't need it to live. I certainly don't need it to be in shape. But just about that time, I hear this, this, this clanging behind me. Chee, 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 chee. And of course I was running and running at a decent pace, but this, this, this clanging behind me was getting louder and louder and louder. And I couldn't figure out where it was coming from or what was going on. Of course I had my earbuds in and it was certainly louder than the music that I was listening to. Ching, 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 ching. It got louder and louder and faster and faster. And finally I turned to my right as I was running and I saw the most inspiring thing. I saw a guy pass me like I was standing still without any legs. The guy was running, he had uh, metal uh, prosthetics on for legs, and the metal that I heard was the metal hitting the ground. This guy went past me at about 90 miles an hour, it seemed, and all the pain in my legs, in my body, and all the discomfort I was in immediately disappeared because I realized how lucky I am to have these two old tired legs that are holding me up at mile uh, 17. So here's the tip. Number one, be grateful for the things that you have and uh, your health, roof over your head, somebody to share life with. I mean, there are so many things that we have that we take for granted. But the second thing is that when it's gut check time, and when you're tired, and when you're fatigued, and when you want to quit maybe, or stop, or slow down, just remember, there are people that are doing the same thing you are with a lot more problems, with a lot more adversity. I want you to remember that and all of a sudden you become a fire starter. And what we need, we need more fire starters in the world and less energy suckers. Do this and your life is certainly going to be more fulfilled.